What we're talking about today is multiple selections in a list view. And specifically it's an application to select multiple bookmarks and delete the selected bookmarks. And it requires uh, two controls basically, a list view which has bookmark ID, bookmark name, author name, book name, and virtual CD name, and a button that says delete bookmark. And these are both in their own separate panels in a split uh, container. The bookmarks are initially populated in the form load via a um, database read of the bookmark table. And this uses uh, MySQL connection, MySQL command, and MySQL data reader but this is covered extensively in other videos and in fact that's the case with a number of parts of this so what I'll do is I'll give you the number of the videos at the end of this video rather than spending a lot of time on it and focus on what we really want to focus on but if we go to the form load you notice we have the MySQL connection and MySQL command defined globally and then we open the connection based on a connection string and do a select asterisk from bookmark and create a MySQL data reader based on this command and then we use the uh, uh, list box or list view item and list view item dot list view sub item to populate this in the list view and as I say these are all covered in previous videos I'll list at the end and then what's new is the delete button handler and that has uh, a number of things we haven't actually seen before like I have a death count which is equal to list view bookmarks which is the list view control dot selected indices dot count and then I say if this count is less than one it basically means the user hadn't selected anything so I just pop up a message box that says you must select one or more bookmarks to be deleted and then I start setting up a series of strings largely for a uh, message box that, that queries whether he wants to really do the delete so I have the death warning that says do you really want to delete these death count dot to string bookmarks and then I have a list view dot selected list view item collection which reads in the entire collection of selected list view items which is a major part of the trick the list view dot selected list view item collection and then in the obituary string is the main body of the this message box and I say do you really want to delete colon and then a couple new lines and then the death notice is the actual SQL string that we're going to use to do the delete or we would if this were real code and it says delete from bookmark uh, where bookmark ID n parentheses and then as we do a for each loop that has a range variable defined as list view item it's called dead in doomed and doomed once again is the selected list view item collection so this will go through each of the selected list views we say death notice plus equals uh, dead dot sub items uh, square bracket zero square bracket dot text which selects the first field and the list view at zero base so this will be the bookmark ID and then has a plus comma and this is the list of bookmark IDs we're going to put in the actual SQL string for the bookmark ID in parentheses list of numbers in parentheses <coughs> and then we have obituary plus equals dead dot sub items one dot text which is the actual name of the bookmark which is sort of human readable that we're concatenating into the message uh, list box and we put a new line after each one of these 
and then with, we finish up the death notice by saying death notice dot substring zero so it starts at the beginning of the string and does a length of death, no death notice dot length minus one and this basically gets rid of the ending uh, comma because we want a comma between all the items but we don't want a comma at the end of the list because we'll get an error from SQL so we get rid of this ending comma and then we concatenate in a closing uh, parentheses and a semicolon for the SQL statement and then for the obituary which is the message in the message box we put a new line and say bookmark quotation or paren s per paren and in case we have only one bookmark we don't want to say bookmarks but best we can do and then we pop up a message box with a dialog result that gets returned dr and this message box uses obituary for the main text in the list box death warning for the title in the list box then it uses message buttons dot yes no cancel so there will be three buttons on the list box and message box icon dot question so it will show a big question mark to indicate that we're questioning the user and then if the dialog result returned is dialog result dot yes in the enum then we set, do a for each that once again goes through uh, all the, the selected uh, list views and this time removes them from the list view so that they'll disappear from the list view and right now all I'm doing is popping up a message box that shows what the SQL would be we would need to do a, a SQL command MySQL command something very similar to this we have this as a string and then we create a MySQL command with this string which in this case is death notice and use the uh, global uh, connection and then rather than having a MySQL data reader we'd have a command dot execute non query since we're not looking to return anything we're just looking to execute a command but rather than doing that this is just sort of a debug version that shows the uh, SQL and we can look and see if it's correct so that once we do a number of tests we can integrate this with the main program and be confident that it'll work put in the actual code with the uh, execute non query and so on and if anything in the dialog result is returned other than yes like there's a no and a cancel then we just pop up a message box that says uh, no book bookmarks were deleted And one thing we have to be careful of is make sure we decide, define all the properties of this list view correctly. One of the main things we want is uh, set hide selection to false so that the selection stays selected if we press no or, or uh, cancel. And of course it'll just disappear if we press yes. And then the main thing of course is we need to set multi-select to true and we need to set the uh, oh no I can find it well of course we do the columns collection to define all the uh, the titles up here and the number of fields there are uh, there's something I'm looking for. Oh, full row select. We want to set that to true. So when we click on it, the whole row gets lit up, which makes it very clear what we want to delete. There's really two possible options. You could say full row select, and you could say uh, check boxes. And a check boxes, we put a check box to the left of the first field here, so that you could see all the check boxes as to what you want to delete. But I think it's a lot more clear to use the uh, full row select rather than the check boxes. There's a lot of other things you could style like, like color and background image and background color and so on. But 
the, it makes it more jazzy and it's really a matter of taste. So if we uh, run this code, compile and run it, we get three bookmarks that are read from the database. And if we select nothing and press the delete uh, bookmark, it just says you must select one or more bookmarks to be deleted. And if we select, say, one and hit delete bookmark, we get the message box that says in the title, do you really want to delete these one bookmarks? And then it says, do you really want to delete Stephen King dash under the dome? So it lists the names, the human readable names, and then bookmarks at the end. And if you say no, it says no bookmarks are deleted. And if you select, say, all of these, you can select multiple ones by doing control uh, select. Or you can uh, select the first one and do a shift select to select the whole range. And then when you press delete bookmarks, it says you really want to delete uh, these three bookmarks. And then it has Stephen King, John D. MacDonald, and Tony Robbins and if you say yes it shows the code that would be generated which is delete from bookmark or bookmark ID n 19 comma 20 comma 21 and you see we use the substring to get rid of the final comma so we wouldn't get an error so this is the correct format and we can submit this to uh, execute non-query and it'll work perfect in fact I've done that. I've integrated this with the larger code and it worked great. The videos I talked about previously that uh, describe in detail what we just passed over in, in the video we just looked at are video 190 which uh, describes the MySQL uh, connection, MySQL command, and MySQL data reader for initially populating the list. Uh, video 86, which describes list view and specifically list view item and list view item dot list view sub item for populating the list view with values. Video 100, which describes the complex message box, which has message box buttons and a message box icon and uses the dialog result in order to uh, determine a course of action in the program when the user selects it. And finally, video 220, which describes the MySQL delete from in, which in which you have a list of values that you're going to select records to be deleted with. And this describes a MySQL delete and also uses the list view tag as sort of an alternate way of getting the uh, key values for the delete. And uh, we didn't use that technique in this video, so you can expand your knowledge by looking at video 220 find an alternative technique well I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe